What's going on and welcome to the studio. I'm Marcia Moore and in today's tutorial I'll be teaching you how to make a Jamaican wall clock. It's a perfect and easy gift to make and or product for your store. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with a 24 inch wood cutout of Jamaica. I picked this up from Etsy. It's one fourth of an inch thick and this is plywood. I'll be using the colors black, green, and yellow to paint on top of the wood. And I'll be using painter's tape to cover the areas on the wood and some sponge brushes. I wanted to show you that the back of this cutout has tape on it already. That's gonna help with my cleanup after I'm finished. Now, first I'm going to start by finding the center so that I can mark it for the hole for the clock. I'm going to measure the center from both directions, length and width. Now, once I've found the center, I will take my painter's tape and put an X over that spot because the flag has a yellow X in the middle and the top and bottom are green and the, the ends black. I'm gonna measure it again just to make sure I have the X in the right place. I want the whole of the clock to be in the center of the X. After I put my tape on, I'm going to then paint the left and the right side black and the top and the bottom green. Now once you've finished and your paint is still wet, you want to remove the painter's tape. It's gonna be harder and it's not gonna be a straight line if you remove it when it's dry. Now I'm going to paint the X yellow. You wanna be really careful when you're painting because there is no tape to help you from getting onto the paint that is already there. So I'm taking my time and I'm going really slow along the edges so I don't go into the black or the green. And once you're finished with this, we're gonna move this over to the studio and do a resin pour on top. And the resin pour isn't necessary, but I love to do it because it always creates that glassy, glossy finish that I think would be perfect for this clock. So after I've mixed my resin together equally, I'm going to pour it onto the wood piece. Make sure you're pouring on the entire area. Jamaica has some little shapes at the bottom. You wanna make sure you pour onto those as well. And then I'm gonna take my mixing stick and just move the resin around to make sure I get all of the spots. After the resin is on every area, I'm going to torch the bubbles with my torch lighter, and then I'm going to cover it so it is free from any lint and debris, because you know lint be tripping, it just show up whenever it wants to. So make sure you cover your products. I'm gonna cover it, and then I'm going to wait for six hours. Now, it has been six hours, and as you can see, the resin pour was absolutely popping. I mean, it's glossy, it's shiny, it looks like glass. I love it, it's the perfect finish. I'm gonna show you the drips on the bottom. This is what we will remove later, but the masking tape that's already there really helps out. So I'm going to drill in my hole in the place that I marked previously. You could still see it through the yellow, which is perfect. And then I'm going to use this heating gun and I'm going to heat the drip and then scrape it off. I'm using an X-Acto knife. I use my X-Acto knife for literally everything, but you can also use a scraper or anything else that can scrape anything. This is just easier for me because I can just heat it up and slide it right along. If you're going to do this method, please be careful. Please use some gloves. Please make sure you heat up the drip because otherwise you're gonna put too much pressure and then you're gonna cut yourself. That is the last of the drips and I am finished with that. Perfect, it looks great to me. Now I'm going to move on to the clock pieces. This is what I'll be using for the clock. This goes on the back, clock fixtures go inside that. And there you have it. I added gold to the edges just to add a little extra something, something. 
it gives it that extra pop and plus it matches the hands of the clock so I think it's a good touch. And that's it, perfect gift, perfect product, easy to make Jamaican clock. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. For more tutorials like this, please subscribe to the studio below.